So now let us work around with something known as sound effector so that we can control our shapes by using the sound effects. So in order to work around with the sound effector, first of all, I'm going to bring in an object. So let's say like a capsule. And to work around with the sound effector, first of all, you have to apply uh, the uh, cloner effect. So I'm going to go over here and then I apply cloner over here. So once I glow, go into the cloner, I'm going to drag in the capsule inside. So to understand sound, first of all, in the cloner, I'm going to go over here on to the cloner effect itself. Uh, under the object, I'm going to change the count to one for now. So once I do that, I'm going to go to effector. I'm going to select cloner and I'm going to add the sound effector now. So to add the sound effector, first of all, you have to go to more graph and you have to go to effector. And once you go to effector, you can go over here onto sound. So let me just click on sound and the effector has been added. To make sure that it has been added, simply go to cloner and over here you can see the sound. So let me just go to sound right here and under sound you can see that there's effector. So you can select the soundtrack of your choice here. So I'm just going to go over here and load the sound. Once I load the sound, I'm going to go over here. I'm going to choose the track 8 year anniversary, which is an MP3 uh, audio. So let me just open this out. Once I open that out and press the play button, you'll be able to see how the sound effector affects the object. So you can see what is happening. So if I actually were to change this, you can see that the audio wave is here. So right now the audio wave for this area is right over here. So the object is here. But when the audio wave is down, as you can see, it affects the position just like that. I can also move it around right over here and certain audio level will work around just simply that. Usually you want, it, want to keep uh, the effector right over here because usually you want them to mimic the uh, beats rather than the vocals right there. So I'm going to select the range just like this and it'll mimic uh, the audio according to this range right here. So in order to witness it even clearly, I'm going to apply around a thousand frames for this. So let me just increase this in size. So you can see over here, this is how it actually works like. This is how it's being iterated. But everything is shaky right over here. To, so to reduce the level of shake, you can go over here and increase the level of detail, DK right here something around 10% so it smoothens things a bit down. Uh, so it smoothens things very down right here. So let me just change it out into something like 5%. That may do it. If you want to increase the strength, you can do that as well. So right now it's at 100%. You can also increase it into 500. So there's more variation in change. Let me just bring that back into 100% itself because this is okay for me, as you can see. So you have this. Now what you can do is to uh, consider what changes are made. You can go to parameters right here and by parameters, you can see that right now the Y position is being affected. So let's say if you want it to move around 100 centimeter, you can do that as well. And over here, if you were to play this, you can see that there's a change in 100 centimeter. You can also, let's say, add an X axis right over here, press the play button, and you can see that the sound effector also uh, has 200 centimeter over here just like this so let me just have in vertical only because that's only one i care about right now so once you do that what you can do is over here onto the side you can work around with the scale as well and let's say you can in individually assign scale so you can actually flatten this out play this out and you can see that you can assign individual scale just like that but in my case i want to work with uniform scale right here so right now the scale is zero so let's say I want to increase the scale as the play sound plays. So if I were to play it, you can see that the animation happens just like that. You can also reduce the scale and play it out. And you can see that the animation happens like this now. So let me just increase the scale right over here. Uh, let's say around one right over there and play this out. So you can see that that is how it is working out. So let me just increase the scale as more volume actually kicks in. So there you go. That's how everything is happening right now. Let us add in a bit of rotation as well. So let's see, uh, as the sound goes above, it has around 45 degree of rotation. Maybe 90 degrees is okay as well. So if I have to play it, you can see that this is how it actually affects the object right now, just like that. So you can see that this is how the effector is actually taking place. So what else you can do is uh, now you can increase the level of clones to actually do it. So, but right now you can see that it is still not smooth enough. So I can apply an effector called delay to actually smoothen everything out. So I'm going to go over here on to uh, 
the um, on to the more graph right here on the effector I'm going to uh, add in a bit of delay right here so let me go to the cloner delay is there so if I were to play it you can see that it is a bit more smoother just like that because of the delay right over here and it plays around the animation plays around with the music so I can go on to the capsule right over here and now what I can do is on from the cloner on to the uh, basics right over here on the object let me change uh, the iteration level so I'm going to change the level uh, by going into grid array so I can play this out as well and you can see that the effect is happening on all of these items right over here I can also go on to the cloner right over here and increase the count so let me just increase the count just like this and like this so 5 by 5 by 5 right over here play it around and you can see that this is what happens so that is being animated right here so I can also increase the level of effects right over here. So I can increase the size right over here, uh, just like this. Increase the size, right? And play around with this as well. So you can see that that is how it actually takes place. So I can increase the size from this side, from this side, increase this size, and there you go. So play this around, there you go. Increase this in size and there's the multiple iterations actually going on right there. Let me just go over here, decrease this in size. Okay, so let me go into the beginning itself. That's fine. Right, play it out, and there you go. Okay, so you got this multiple uh, things going on, but let's say I want to make it more random. In that case, you can apply random effector onto this as well. So under cloner, I'm going to go to more graph effector and let's add in a bit of random over there as well. So in a bit of random there. So there you go, uh, a bit of random effect is being applied. And over here on, on the random effector itself. I can increase the strength of the random effector right over here as well and increase the level of seed so you can see that all of them are in a bit of a random position right over here. So I can change the parameters of the random right over here so they don't seem very very uh, normal. So I can also have random scales right over here so random scales uniform scales would do so random scales right over here as you can see and I may also want to have a random rotation just like this as you can see so it is more interesting to look at so everything is okay and now let's say what else I can do is I can also apply uh, let's say something like uh, um, dynamics onto this so I can go on to the capsule I can go on to simulation tags and I can add in something like rigid body right over here so if I were to play, press you can see that it actually adds in a random effect to it as well but I don't want gravity to actually take control so I'm going to go over here on to the uh, effect right over here and on the force section of the uh, dynamics that is the rigid body I want to have follow position as 6 and follow rotation as 6 which simply means no gravity so if I were to play this you can see that this is how it is animating right now so this is still a dynamic body right here so you can see that according to the music the animation is being played out so really well really good right over here so you can render this out and then edit it to your favorite music so if you guys learn something as always and as always please like comment share and subscribe